Rubiana, stop twirling in this house. You're going to wake your sister. Go, outside. Let me watch my stories in peace, her mother had said. Go outside and do what? Ruby back talked. Go ride your bike, the mother answered with frustration. How could her mama have already forgotten the bicycle was down at Lulu's pawn shop along with the heart-shaped locket that had belonged to her granny? The child, grown years beyond what a seven-year-old should be, took the locket from the cedar box when her daddy started selling things. At first, Ruby blamed the little sister of taking them as one piece after another vanished from the jewelry box. The mystery was solved when Ruby only pretended to be asleep one night and saw her mother sneak into the room, taking a necklace from the box. Piece by piece, Ruby's mama had sold everything in order to pay whatever bill needed paying. The locket was her favorite treasure because her granny had let her play dress up with it many times. Every night, Ruby would wear the necklace to bed. She would gently stroke the little heart until she fell asleep. It was Kitty that tattled one morning when she awoke and saw it on her older sister's neck. Ruby threw her hands up in disbelief. And where is my bike, Mama? Rose Pickett folded the last of the towels and placed it on a coffee table. She rubbed her head as if she were getting another one of her bad headaches. Then she reached for her pack of cigarettes. Ruby's mama was at the end of her rope, long since being any kind of real mother to the girls. Rose spent her day sleeping them away, mostly due to depression. Plus, she had found a doctor willing to help her numb her sad little world with pills. Take these to the bathroom, her mother said as she pushed the stack of tiles across the table. Ruby watched as she clicked the big lighter a few times until the flame appeared, taking a long drag once the cigarette was lit. I got a headache. Go on and don't slam the door this time, her mother said. Hey guys, just remember, I am writing this stuff. It's all rough draft, but I wanted to share the process of how I write a book. I may uh, try to pick a day each week and read a chapter or I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but. I'll just try to share with what I got and, you know, I'll go back. Like I found some mistakes just then when I was reading it to you that, I thought, oh, this sounds better if I do this way. So that's how I'm doing it. That, that's how I, you know, the book is already finished in my head. I just got to put it down on the paper. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. Thanks. Bye. <music>